Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Um, today I just want to show you a little quick tip. So how to strain your paint. Um, and you can do this quite cheap. You can buy these bags here. So <laughs> when you go in the supermarket, this is a Tesco one, but Audi do them everywhere does them now in supermarkets. In the fruit and veg section, you can get like these little sort of bags that keep the fruit fresh and it just saving the planet and stuff like that so you can probably reuse these but i just thought well these would be great for like straining paint so um over here is the pot so i'm going to put that in there like that so it's got a little drawstring on top so if i just keep that open like that now this is a tin of crown gloss which i keep carrying on to different jobs i've used quite a bit of it but it is starting to skin up now on top and then now if I pour that straight into there without this bag, I'm going to be forever picking bits out throughout the day. And, you know, it's just nothing worse than that. So I'm going to actually um, pour it in and just you can see what, what's going to happen when I do that. Right, here we go. Right, so I poured it in. And I'll just show you here, look, I'm lifting it up. So that's straining in there nicely. I know there's going to be no bits in there. Quite a lot of skin in here. But I'm just going to chuck this bag away. I think there's something like 30p or 35p. But honestly, it's it's a cheap way of doing it. Rather than trying to find paint strainers online and reusable ones that you've got to clean out. And who wants to really get their hands, you know, messy and white spirits and ruin your skin on your hands, you know. So, yeah, there's all like bits of skin in there and stuff, as you can see. Now this will keep sort of like straining out for a while. It's brilliant. It's just it's just the right, honestly, the the right kind of is it viscosity or something with all the holes. It it comes out lovely. So look at that. So after I've done this, I will use an old pot. So I've got a couple of old paint pots here that I've used. This is just an old anti-reflex or a, a vinyl mat that I've used on this job. Obviously, my last job now today is to gloss up. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's just get this Ticarilla pot here. All right, so I've got the Ticarilla pot. And then um, I think that's near enough done. So I'm going to transfer it into there. Put the lid on. Straighten the bin. That's that job done. So, yeah, there you go. As I say, that's a good way of straining your paint out when you're using solvent. Um, any type, like satin wood, eggshell, gloss anything solvent yeah these little bags from any supermarket in the fruit section and the veg section they do them now everywhere and you have to pay for them as i say they're like 30p or 35p well worth it so um yeah that's that's my little tip for today um so yeah because you, you do not want to use paint with all bits coming out I'll, I'll tell you now when you're trying to roll flat panel doors like that nothing worse when you're forever picking bits out and i just find nowadays these modern paints they don't really see so years ago you used to get quite a thick skin on top and you could just cut it out and pull it out with your hands chuck it in a little pot or something and then you got fresh paint it but these days it seems to be a real thin layer that as soon as you break it it goes into the paint and it mixes with all the good paint so rather than throwing that away and thinking oh, i'll go and buy another one because I'm forever like just carrying my whites to the next job. You see, I always leave like the wall colour on the job for people. But ceiling paint, woodwork paint, always carry it over because, you know, you're saving money. You know, people don't want these tins building up in their houses. And plus, you know, paint does go off and then they end up just chucking them away. So I'll keep reusing like the same paints on different jobs. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little tip. Um, get down to them supermarkets and get your bags, you know. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more hints and tips. Thank you.